हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास वी स्टडी नेक्स्ट मोर वेरी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट इज द टू मैन्युफैक्चर्स टू प्रिपरेशंस वन इज प्रिपरेशन मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ पोटाशियम डाइक्रोमेट फ्रॉम क्रोमाइट वोर सेकंड वन इज मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ पोटाशियम परमांगनेट फ्रॉम पैरालुसाइड पैरालुसाइड आउट ऑफ दीज टू definitely they can ask one question first you consider manufacture of potassium dichromate from chromite ore chromite ore formula is feo cr2 o3 or fe cr2 o4 we can consider in any form either feo cr2 o3 or fe cr2 o4 this is a chromite ore first step is there are this involves three steps first step is the powdered chromite ore powdered chromite ore this is the chromite ore powdered chromite ore treated with sodium carbonate sodium carbonate and is heated in the presence of the air in the presence of the air powdered chromite ore treated with sodium carbonate this is the chromite ore you consider the self explanatory then they definitely give the complete mark full mark this one is sodium carbonate sodium carbonate heated in the presence of the air the first you get the sodium chromate NaCrO4 very important sodium chromate sodium chromate sodium chromate in this chromite this FeO part oxidized to Fe2O3 Fe2O3 from the carbonate sodium carbonate carbon dioxide get evolved this is the first step first step is chromite ore powdered chromite ore treated with sodium carbonate and is heated in the presence of air sodium chromate is formed you have to balance this equation to balance you remember this three one number that is 4 8 7 487 four for the chromite ore 8 for the sodium carbonate 7 for the oxygen 487 by using that uh, reactant coefficient you can balance the product coefficient here you consider 8 na2cro4 2 fe2o3 2 fe2o3 and 8 co2 this is the first step this is an yellow solution sodium chromate is an yellow solution then the sodium chromate is treated with second step is sodium chromate na2cro4 this is sodium chromate yellow colored sodium chromate treated with sulfuric acid it is treated with sulfuric acid that is h plus sulfuric acid donates the proton h plus then we get sodium dichromate na2cr2o7 sodium dichromate and other by products are na plus and water that sodium chromate is treated with sulfuric acid according to bronsted theory acid donates the proton hence we are using the h plus that sodium chromate converted into sodium dichromate sodium dichromate next balance this equation use 2 na2cro4 2h plus 2 na2cro2 oh, sorry 2 na plus 2 na plus 2 na plus this is the second step then third step is the formed sodium dichromate formed sodium dichromate then treated with potassium chloride potassium chloride we get orange crystals of potassium dichromate
दिस इज ऑरेंज क्रिस्टल्स ऑरेंज क्रिस्टल्स ऑफ पोटाशियम डाइक्रोमेट this potassium potassium displaces the sodium that forms orange crystals of potassium dichromate liberating nacl that is 2 nacl 2 kcl this is about the preparation of potassium dichromate potassium dichromate from the chromite was very important each step carries the three marks just you follow this one only that is this name is sodium dichromate sodium dichromate if you write as it is definitely you get the three marks each step carries a one mark you must practice these reaction with balanced coefficients you have to balance the reaction without balance you will not give the marks next you consider the manufacture that is for preparation of potassium permanganate either dichromate or permanganate we can definitely ask for three marks any one will ask for the three marks second preparation is preparation of potassium permanganate kmno4 from the pyrolusite ore pyrolusite formula is mno2 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 called as the pyrolusite then this involves the two steps for the first step potassium permanganate is prepared by the fusion of fusion of mno2 fusion of pyrolusite with alkali with an alkali like koh with an alkali like koh or naoh and oxidizing agent like kno3 oxidizing agent like kno3 or even air air for the reaction purpose we are using the air this is a first point fusion of the pyrrol side with an alkali like koh in the presence of oxidizing agent like potassium permang sorry potassium nitrate or air we get the dark green compound dark green dark green compound called potassium potassium manganese potassium manganate not permanganate it is potassium manganate a dark green compound called potassium manganate its formula is the k2 mno4 kmno4 is potassium permanganate k2 mno4 is potassium manganate then this is the first step next we will write the reaction second step is the potassium manganate formed potassium manganate undergo disproportionation disproportionation it disproportionate formed potassium manganate undergo disproportionation either in the neutral medium neutral medium or acidic medium that potassium manganate formed potassium manganate undergo disproportionation reaction disproportionate either in the neutral or acidic medium to form the potassium permanganate potassium permanganate then you have you can write the reaction first step is pyrolusite mno2 pyrolusite treated with alkali alkali used is the koh in the presence of oxidizing agent like kno3 or air we are considering air to the reaction o2 this is pyrolusite this is a self explanatory pyrolusite this one is an alkali alkali like koh this is the air as an oxidizing agent air as an oxidizing agent form a dark green compound called potassium manganate k2mno4 
liberating H2O. This K2MnO4 it is called potassium manganate. Potassium manganate, a dark green compound called potassium manganate. You have to balance this reaction. 2MnO2, 4KOH, but for 2K2MnO4 and 2H2O. This is the first step. Then second step is potassium, dark green potassium manganate undergo disproportionation. It disproportionates in acid or the neutral medium. In our syllabus, they are considered the ionic reaction. The ionic reaction is instead of K2MnO4, consider MnO4 2 minus. MnO4 2 minus. It is the ionic. In, it undergo that manganate ion. This is the manganate ion. Manganate ion. Manganate ion disproportionates in acid medium. Disproportionation means same element undergo both oxidation and reduction. This disproportionate to form the permanganate ion. This one is permanganate ion. Permanganate ion forms pyrolusite MnO2 and H2O. Pyrolusite and water. Pyrolusite MnO2 and H2O. MnO2, MnO2 and H2O. Pyrolusite and this MnO2 is the pyrolusite. Pyrolusite. This is the reaction. Next, finally, balance this reaction. 3 MnO4 2 minus 4 H plus that forum. 2MnO4 minus charge is very important. Here 2 minus, here minus 1 charge. MnO2 and 2H2O. 2H2O. This is the preparation. You observe this manganate ion undergo disproportionation because this Mn undergo both oxidation and reduction. Here oxidation state is plus 6. Here oxidation state is plus 7. Here oxidation state is plus 4. Plus 6 to plus 7 means oxidation. Plus 6 to plus 4 means the reduction. Same element undergo both oxidation and the reduction. Hence, this reaction is called as a disproportionation reaction. Disproportionation reaction. This is about the preparation of the potassium permanganate from your, by using pyrolusite. You practice these two reactions. These two reactions, the, if you write these two steps, you definitely get the three marks. That is, first one is pyrolusite, formula MnO2, treated with an alkali like KOH and an oxidizing agent like Ar potassium nitrate forms the potassium manganate, K2MnO4. That manganate ion undergo disproportionation in an acid medium or neutral medium forms the permanganate ion. This is about the preparations of potassium dichromate and potassium permanganate. You practice this two, definitely you get three marks. Next class, you can consider other most important questions.